Hey everyone, it is Harrison here again. Uh, if you don't know me, I run a virtual reality development company. We build our simulations in Unreal Engine. Today we're going to be doing our virtual reality carpentry experience. It's an introductory to carpentry. It's a career exploration experience and it gives you a sense of what it's like in carpentry. This experience is really interesting because it is a multiplayer experience. So I've got Lucas on the line here. Lucas is in the office in Toronto. I'm in the barn here in PEI. Together, we're gonna learn a little bit of carpentry stuff. Uh, as always, we're launching these simulations through our immersive learning platform, content management, device management for all types of VR, PC and standalone. This series of experiences are uh, PC VR experiences. So you can see on my screen here, it's loaded up, it's ready to go. I'm gonna hit play and it's actually gonna give me the multiplayer option right away. So I'm gonna select that. I'm gonna throw my headset on. Okay, I'm gearing up, Lucas. So this one is, uh, again, following the same lore. So we're all robots, um, but unlike uh, most of uh, the other Sims, this one uh, is in the forest. It looks like we're at like a logging facility. Oh, like, there's Lucas. Hey, how you doing? Hey, Lucas. Okay, so you can do up to four players in this. I'm, I'm going to start. start. And the force field has disappeared. Welcome to your intro to carpentry. Today, you're going to be cutting and assembling the framing for the side wall of a tiny home. Move to a workstation and claim it by clicking on the select All right, you, button. You're over there. From there, yeah. we'll do our first cut to learn cool. the basics. Let's do this. Would you like to select this workstation? I would like to select this workstation. The info window has a list of objectives. Complete each of the steps mentioned and it'll get checked off the list. Then throw well, it in your station bucket. You're going ahead here. All right. I see how it is. Yeah. All right. But I've done this a few times. You've done it, yes. Well, I mean, you built it. <laughs> so I think you have the upper hand. Pencil. <laughs> it's not normally how you do it, but yeah. <laughs> okay, measure with tape. Cut a piece to two foot six inches. This was actually a really, really hard simulation to get right. Uh, not only because of multiplayer, but because you are measuring. So we did a couple of unique things here. So when you actually put the measuring tape down, you pull the trigger to click it into place, and then that just holds it where you need to hold it. Because in real life, you can kind of hook it. In VR, you can't really do that. So we try to figure out what is important to get perfectly accurate and what is less important. And same thing with our speed square. You know, in real life, I could link that in and just kind of slide it. In VR, you can't do that, so same deal. You bring it close, pull the trigger, kind of clicks it into place. So I can get mark. Got my line. Just put a little X there. So I know what is the good piece and what is the bad piece. Bring this over to the table, and your wood kind of clicks onto the saw. You do a lot of cool things. So you can actually adjust your angle this way. So I'm gonna cut. Oh, back up. Let's see, 35 degrees is right there. Perfect. Ta-da. Nice work on those tools. Now, I'm going to direct everyone's attention to the middle of the room. Ooh. Here, we've got a tiny home missing the framing for one of its side walls. Some pieces okay. are already slotted in, but we need your help getting Let's the few missing planks sorted. The list of studs and the measurements required can be found on the task board by the tiny home. Here we go. Measurement. Bring it over to tiny the house. Spot and then slot it in. Sill, cripple stud, blocking plank. And don't worry, you'll know if a stud is up to scratch by the color of the hologram after you place it. So uh, we actually went back and forth on this one. Uh, originally, we were going to make people build the full tiny house, but we figured out that that would take an extremely long amount of time. So for the sake of just getting the sense of carpentry, uh, we only make people go through three 
pieces. So this actually uh, would be a great time to do a shout out to Sam Sanderson of the Construction Association of Prince Edward Island, uh, a good friend and mentor of mine. Uh, this whole experience was actually designed around uh, the blueprints of their tiny home experience. Yeah, we wanted to basically uh, mirror that program, thought eventually with this simulation, it would be great to let people build these tiny homes in VR before they go out and build the real things in the classroom. Long term, uh, the vision is to turn this thing into an entire training series. So I'm gonna just get going on this. We're gonna do those three pieces. I think I see a sill plate at three foot two inches. So let's start with that. We got three foot two inches. At three foot two inches. We'll just go six nine. We'll keep it easy. Oh, I'm not gonna have enough. <gasps> Four ten. I'll do the one three piece out of this one as well then. Yeah. All right. One three. Gonna mark that right there. And. This is my blocking plate, this little guy here. Here's one. Bring this across. Close. Blocking plate. So plate. We don't have a nail gun right now. Eventually we'll have a nail gun. We've done nail guns before, but uh, multiplayer added a very extra big layer of complexity to this. So uh, mechanically we've kept it pretty simple, um, but again, we built it in a way where we can keep adding on to it. And I got one more, six, nine. Oh, it's a big piece. There we go. Yeah, I do a lot of renovations, and this actually feels really nice. Like, very similar to... I don't know, oh, that's too close. So after you've lifted the piece. That's okay. Here we go. We're gonna submit our work. Perfect. 10 minutes, you okay. 100% accuracy. The of the I'll take wall. that. Cool, I'm gonna jump out of here. Ooh. So, that was career exploration experience for carpentry. A uh, couple of fun facts, it is multiplayer. You can play with up to four people. We built it as a base for future training experiences. Uh, eventually we hope to allow any type of construction company, any type of development company uh, to be able to give us their blueprints. Um, and then we can basically have this as a training platform uh, for employees and future um, hires to be able to come into VR, build whatever it is they're gonna be building in the real job site and really commit a lot of that kind of stuff to memory by going through those repetitions in VR. We also hope to be able to ship this to high schools uh, as a place for them to train and learn a little bit before they go into the woodworking shops. Thanks so much, and we'll see y'all next time.